Hey, okay, welcome back to the Caribou Data Science channel. This is the evening of Friday, March the 3rd, 2022. I'm going to give you a, a very quick three-step process to import data into a CSV, import your CSV data into a, uh, into a, into BigQuery, okay? And when you see how, when you see how easy this is, you're going to be like, well, I could have, I knew that, right? But first of all, I got one very important piece of device, and that is YouTube. Okay, you could you could have found the answer to how to import this data on YouTube by simply going searching for BigQuery import CSV. When you're first starting out, and I really can't emphasize this enough, when you're first starting out, 100% of the questions you have about anything in data analytics, whether it's Excel, whether it's SQL, whether it's whether it's R, or whether it's it's, a, it's Tabula, 100% of your questions when you first start out are, are already have already been asked and answered on YouTube. All you got to do is take the time to look. And that is the key to your growth, being able to find answers on your own, okay? Now, the first step is, the first step of three steps, you create, you, you, you have to have a project, okay? You can click down there, create a new project if you want to, okay? My project is called David Dash, Dave's Data Analytics. Data, Dave's Data Analytics is also my channel on Twitch where I do live streaming every night at 8 p.m. Let me let me just give you a uh, okay. So the first thing we got to do is so here's our project. We could also first thing we got to do we got to create an empty bucket. We're gonna create a data set. Now a data set. You can think of a data set as being a directory or a folder on your computer. It's sometimes referred to as buckets, but it's easier to understand as a, as a directory or folder under which you, you under which you store your data. Okay, so here we got a data set. We're just going to call this data set. You know, I don't know. Uh, customers, region. That's all for that step. That's step two, right? Go over here, say create table, source, upload, file, customers, CSV destination, data set customers, table name is going to be CSV customers, okay. Again, the data set is, is, is the folder we just created. This is the project at the top of the page. Now, all you got to do, now here's the creep part. Here's the critical part. Click on the auto detect. So this is going to auto detect the structure of the of the data for you, the column types and the column and the number of columns, okay, and import the data. And down here, that's all you really need to do at this point. Click create table. You get a couple error messages. Now it could take a few moments depending on the size you take. This this particular table here has I think fifty thousand rows in it. Okay, and there it is. Now you go over here, close this. Once again, and here you can see our if you click on this, you can, you can get the description of all the all the columns and the column types. Now you could, but as ambitious, I could come in here and add in some more data here, but I'm not going to do it. So now you come over here, PG customers, click on this, click on query, put a star up here. Let's do something. Let's just okay, do a star up there. And here and here's our table, okay, with all the columns. And they can see this says one this says one hundred or one thousand, so there must be one thousand rows. Let's, let's just do a count and make sure my numbers are right. Let's see. You can see here, 
This says there's 50,000 rows, 50,000 customers. That, that sounds about right, okay? Now, and that's all there is to it to import CSV data into Power, BigQuery, into BigQuery, okay? 